so you're saying what were you just saying though about Beyonce so you know a lot of these talent shows they use these top 40 songs to audition with oh, right yeah. so I've been getting I've been getting as an older person being able to appreciate simple strong st structures but it's based on the singing mm. you know because there's a lot of songs that like w Whitney Houston I didn't even know a single Whitney Houston song until I started watching talent shows <laughs> I thought she was a crack addict. It, like, if you said, <laughs> that's it, that's you, it. You've not, only seen a reality show with Bobby Brown. <laughs> not even after that. I just, the photos online of her, like, dried lips and, like, you know what I mean, twisted. I go, oh, she's a street walking crack addict. Mm. I didn't know that she was this talented person. <laughs> I'm every woman. But then when you watch, like, talent shows, you know, someone will sing a Whitney song and, and the audience or the judges will be like, this is going to be difficult because it's Whitney. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? This is a very difficult song, you know? So... You know, I, I I appreciate songs where it's difficult to sing, and that's why I'm beginning not necessarily Beyonce, but there are certain people like who the, I didn't know who Kelly Clarkson was, or Alicia Keys, or Alicia Keys, or any of these people. But because oh, I want, that's right. He, I remember when you made your first um, a divas playlist. Yeah, I did. And you were like, "Look, sweetie, it's Beyonce and Mary J. Bleeg." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know that. Now Mary J. Blige, she's she's. Cool. Yeah. I, She's cool. I feel yeah, like yeah. I like her. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just I I just find Beyonce songs kind of boring. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I agree with you. Thank you. Know? you. But I've always been into um, people that play instruments and write songs and, and you she know. does. No, I'm, oh. I, no, I'm, no. In in general, <laughs> right? Me too. Yeah, I, I you know when you're raised with, I was raised with the Stones and the Beatles and you know and then like the Velvet Underground and Roxy music and all these you know all these. But you bands. always liked new music too. Like I as love it came new stuff. Like yeah, yeah. New oh yeah, yeah, Alternative yeah. music. Yeah, I do. And, I like new stuff and. Um, and have you made the switch to hip hop? It's hard. Because you kind of have to, because that's all that people care about anymore. I know, but it's, it's been hard for me. You don't like the Lils. What is the little? See, oh. I, I want to write write that down. No, Lils. like little P. Oh. <laughs> it's all little something. I thought the littles Lil was Dickie, a little. I thought Lil the I was gonna Google no, the littles. No, I'm, I'm trying to name the, Lil the Bow genre. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> little Bow Wow. Lil no, Bow that's wow. wrong genre. <laughs> no, here anyone listening right now, I, I and and I really want to be an open person, and I want to absorb new things, and if you're like really into hip hop, and really know what the cool things are that I should listen to, that's you know that's kind of innovative and forward give me a list email tiger belly give me a list of of hip-hop hip-hop groups yeah yeah mm -hmm. that i i can dive into because you know i have all the spotify's and all that stuff and i i'd be happy to you know dive into it but you don't you don't really listen to much hip-hop well i mean in the early um in the late 80s i listened to like what my brother listened to like dress not jurassic five but um i love tribe called, i love jurassic five also but tribe called quest you know um those mm -hmm. kind of the fujis i like them i like you know those earlier ones and then as it got older i got aggressive like i would go into chris D'Elia's car and he had some sort of like a really aggressive trap, trap just music. machine guns going off and people dying <laughs> yeah and n-word n-word you know what i mean that kind of stuff and i just didn't like it what yeah, about Migos? What about Migos? I love the three Amigos. <laughs> Is that a band? Do you like Migos? I do. I, I, can, hate I can't do Migos, but I am in love with a 22-year-old. I love Post Malone so much. See if Bobby would get into that. Have you oh, played it for I him? Doubt you it. know Post Malone? Um, I know Primo Malone. Do you know Primo Malone? Primo Malone's my favorite. <laughs> I think Bobby would like Post Malone. I don't think he'd like Migos at all. Migos is like funny, though. It's, yeah, it's, it's funny. It's funny? Can we play it on here? Yeah, yeah, do you have it? <laughs> will, you, will you play? Oh, I can only play it on a song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What song yeah. Do you want? Will you play Stir Fry for him? Oh, I oh, just listened to that earlier. Wait, it's a, it's a, okay. Let's is that the onion? <laughs> is that with the onion line in it? It's, yeah, but it's is called it, Stir Fry. Is it, it is an Asian oriented? No, Bobby. Okay. It's a, I believe it's about cocaine. You gotta like pop your. No, oh, wait, you guys! I'm this is it. how you guys play music on your. We, this is, we never we never pop, play pop music. The first time we played. Yeah. Hey. Oh. Basically, this is about hey. making drugs. Yeah, I like it. Okay, turn it off. I'm going to get it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I'm going to get it. You I liked like it? it? One stir fry, please. Yeah, yeah, one stir fry, please. <laughs> Wait, did you really like it? I like the groove of it. And, uh, I like the groove. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but here's another thing is, is that... Um, but here's the thing about hip-hop. Very different than like... Tribe Called Quest right. and like political. I mean, these these 
these guys are all it's all about at like drug analogy like right but the music right is sometimes very melodic and interesting it's just my my thing just tonally for me is that when they start rapping it all sounds the same to me in terms of like the cadence you know there's no melody sometimes the, oh, in the chorus they'll sing a melody but hip, you know, it's all the same, you know. Percussion, so, yeah. Yeah, for me, it's a little. I'm not. I have to adjust my way of thinking. I guess. What about Drake? Don't even I know who he Drake. is. You like? I like Drake. Well, no, I just do a podcast where we talk about the top songs. That's how I know like what's in the top Billboard top five. But did you know that three of the top five songs are Drake? No. Oh, yeah, I believe it. Yes. He's that big. Yes. He's massive. Yeah, he can blur the lines with different audiences. Really? Yeah. So like hipsters like Drake? Mm -hmm. Everyone likes White him. White people love Drake. White like, people love yeah. Drake. Canadians. Canadians, you know? yeah. Well, he's Canadian? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was on Degrassi. <laughs> he Canadian? was on, I remember, and I, I, that's the Degrassi that I watch. I don't watch the new generation. But I don't think anyone's ever had three out of the five songs be their band. Yeah, that's incredible. Yeah, but you know, if he's Canadian, I'm probably going to like him. You why think? Is that, why is that? Because, um, and this is going to sound, and I want to... Oh, I'm going to just try to tiptoe away from right, but <laughs> just baby, just just hear me out, okay? Yeah, it's here's the everything. thing is is that you know a lot of times when I listen to hip hop, I don't like the violence, right? Or like street, you know, life when people yeah. talk because it, to me, I'm from the suburbs. I don't relate. <laughs> I don't. I, li I'm, I'm, I like trees. A lot of and... these guys are from the suburbs. Oh, they, oh, oh, they are. Drake is not from the streets. That's what. That's what I'm saying. That's yeah. why I'm saying Drake. <laughs> if he's from Canada, right? He's you know he did a lot of maple trees, hockey sticks. <laughs> he was an actor before he was a rapper. No, my my point is because I've been to Canada, right? Yeah. A lot of beautiful snow. Very beautiful. Right. <laughs> nature. Right. So mm -hmm. he's not from the streets of Tor if he's what Tor Toronto where is he from Toronto, mm -hmm, yeah. Toronto yeah I mean Toronto's cosmopolitan it's like everyone's so nice yeah. the food's great great culture there's no violence